gonna slip it. Just take a quick look to see the difference because mm -hmm. okay. you know churches are almost the same yeah. all of them. But how many Catholic churches do you have here in Georgia? Sorry? Do you have Catholic churches? Oh yeah, in Tbilisi we have. We have uh, one is active, uh, second one is under under renovation. Okay. Uh, to be honest, I don't know is, is it open or not, but the one is which you were active. Okay. A lot of uh, like Polish, a lot of Poles come here in Georgia, and they always go and pray here. Yeah.
corporation started wine making in 16th century and we produce more than 40 types of wines. For example, we can produce dry wines by Georgian traditional methods and sweet wines by European method. And it's our refrigerator room where we produce only semi sweet wines by European method. traditional cellar where we produce dry vines mm. and here we have clay pots also here but uh, these are not active to say. We use this clay pot and here we can produce dry vines with two different methods which is Georgian traditional and Georgian so. so for Georgian traditional way because everything as I said like me. And here we can produce dry vines with two different methods which is Georgian traditional and European so. So for Georgian traditional way, we use everything as I said, like grape skin seed. So we produce dry vines inside clay pot and also storage here. So when it's European way, we use only grape juice. At first we produce dry vines in clay pots and after we aging these wines in oak barrels. But it's like in general, wine can stay inside for six months. And of course during this time we have to check wine stage, sugar content, alcohol percentage. And as you know, at first we put grapes inside clay pot. And uh, like we have to crush in them with uh, nice tools here. After if like it's uh, European method, we separate grape skin, see it really only juice inside. And for fermentation, we need uh, like a long time, then for semi to wine. So like three weeks. And during this time, we have to stir in grape juice with them to six or seven a day to have fermentation process like that. For taking out wine, we have an old method with Orchard Mop, like that, mm. also for tasting. But today we don't use it, because each one contains more than 5,000 liters. And it's so hard to take out 5,000 <laughs> liters of liters. How many rounds you need to go with it? <laughs> and also we have little berries that contain more than 3,000 liters, and from each one we can produce six maybe 7,000 bottles for one day. Because I just smell the wine. Wow. What do you call these barrels? Is this called barrels? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, European wine cellar where we store the aging dry wines after produce. So, these big tanks and these big barrels we have for just storage wine and these old barrels for aging wine. For example, this one contains uh, 300 liters. Also, we can use this one for only three times. For example, one time continues for six months, nine months, and maximum for aging is four years. So this one is nice dry. Shake it well, shake it well, smell now, and... Can you smell? Yeah. So this four has different prices. <laughs> Oh, I guess I could. Oh, 
From the very beginning, you must know that this is one of the best and the biggest winery in the country. But uh, they don't produce wine inside here. They have two more factories, one in the east and one in the west part of the country. Uh, actually, actually, three more factories and they make wine there and then they bring it here to keep and to age. Because for aging and keeping, they have perfect conditions here. Uh, temperature is always stable from 14 to 16 degrees. Uh, humidity is 70%, what is perfect for wine, uh, wine aging. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything is nature. So to explain you how it works. See this tunnel? This is a fresh tunnel. So imagine a uh, first tunnel. Then there is parallel the second tunnel. This was supposed to be a railway to Russia. That's why they, there are two tunnels, which are around 800 meters. And then they have 13 connecting tunnels, which are 500 meters. So in general, this tunnel's length is 7.7 .7 kilometers. But we will see for sure we are not allowed to Okay. So, uh, we are not allowed to see the hundred percent of the winery because uh, it's private, but we will see just some part which is uh, made for tourists. Uh, previously, this winery was belonging. This this tunnels were belonging to different winery, and they produced wine inside the tunnels. And do you look up? See these pipes? Yeah. These miles? They were used to transport wine from inside to outside. Mm. But nowadays, this is just decoration uh, because uh, this winery does not produce wine inside. My name is Lipardiani, and this is a limited collection from, like, from his personal collection. Mm -hmm. But it, it's for sale too, only these wines are made for Georgia. The, this uh, winery exports uh, wine in a lot of countries, mostly in Eastern European countries and Central European countries, but this limited collection is not exported. It's just in Georgia. Mm -hmm. These old barrels, uh, some of them are brought from France, some of them are brought from different countries, but mostly from France. Okay. Uh, they produce uh, around 25 types of wine, and 70% of them are uh, golden medal winners on international competitions, not only in Georgia. So mm -hmm. that's why I said this is one of the best. They don't go just for quantity, they go for quality as well. And yeah, name of the winery, it comes from the religion. Um, I'm sure since you were Catholics, yeah. you, know, you know, when the um, Saint Mary was told that she was going to give birth of the Jesus, the, that process in our language, that part is called the Hareba, and to translate it literally, it means to tell somebody something that's going to make this person happy. In this country, till 2003, mm -hmm. we didn't have electricity. Yeah. So we used that for irony. And on my first two grades at school, I was studying with this lamp <laughs> because there was no light. Oh, 2003, don't have light. 2003, so 2003. Mm. And then in 2003, we had a revolution. Uh, government changed and they started uh, making electricity for mm. everybody. And let's say in 2004, end of Feb 4, I already had it. Oh, but cool. yeah, and I was living on the fifth floor um, and in a, it was Soviet building. And they had standards, no more than uh, five floors in the building, no elevator. Mm -hmm. 
No electricity, no, electricity, no running water, no heating system. It's slower, wood, water, whatever it was, and there was no why I hate Soviet Union. <laughs> I, I was not born in Soviet Union, but its influence was so strong and it's still so strong. Whenever I bring people here and they say, oh yeah, I remember my grandmother used it, my grand-grandmother used it. <laughs> okay, we used it. <laughs> <laughs> This is a horn. Yeah. This is a real horn. Mm -hmm. Wine of what? Uh, this is for vodka. vodka. Because uh, for wine we have bigger one. Because mm -hmm. how we drink our drinking tradition is like this. When you say toast, one toast is one glass of wine. We don't want this uh, clay vessel is called query or query wine making technology or monastery wine te making technology. All this this is called Orcheli and we use it for taking wine, uh, like taking either leftovers of wine or the water when we clean it. Mm -hmm. It works this way. <laughs>